Pete's Cave in Foxboro, about a mile in the forest. I guess Native Americans used to hide here during the King Philip War, which is understandable because the perfect outcroppings to get into shelter or just hide. The place is really cool. Well, on the trail, uh, Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts used to camp out here back, I believe, in the 40s through the 70s. The place is kind of forgotten about now. And uh, people still come here, but mostly locals, I think. Um, there's a few places alongside of the road where I've found, I believe, Native American burial mounds. And it wouldn't surprise me at all because we're really close to Bay Road and Bay Road is known for digging up Native American burial mounds. Um, one of them that I know of was put back. The guy that was working there told me he was digging there with a bulldozer and backhoe, heavy equipment, found bones, called his boss. The boss said, screw it, keep digging. So he found a skull. Shut everything down, drove to his boss's office, put the skull on his boss's desk. The boss said, okay, cover it up. Um, yeah, there's no respect when it comes to money. But this place, this place is amazing. I love this place. I've metal detected here. I don't find much of anything, although I, I would think, expect to find flat buttons, beads, arrowheads, um, things of that nature. That's a cool little cave in there. Um, but I, the only thing I've found of value was my oldest coin I've ever found, which was a 1758 British coin. And a lot of nails that look like they're probably 1700s. There's a 1700s mill here at the head of one of the trails. I haven't found anything there either, but I know for a fact it was a 1700s uh, mill. Um, I just love this place. There's a lot of serenity out here. There's also a bear out here somewhere, so I hear, because a, a guy I work with lives near here, and he found bear footprints in his backyard. This is the prime area for the bear to retreat to. So I have my trusty machete. I don't use or carry a gun no need to there's enough people out there with guns I have nothing against guns I just don't personally use them um, I'm gonna see if I, I can't hold my phone and climb up on the rocks but I'm gonna try to climb up and show you some views from up on the rocks I made it I'm up on the rocks and uh, it's friggin so cool up here Some asshole left his crap laying around. Oh, wait, that's me. <laughs> yeah, this place is friggin' pure serenity. Just a friggin' awesome place. I personally can almost feel the spiritualness of this place. If you, you know, not everybody's tuned into that kind of thing. Unfortunately, the world would probably be a better place if they were. Because I think it goes hand in hand with respect and uh, mindset. Um, but yeah, this place makes me happy. I guess Bigfoot was here. They say Bigfoot put signs up by putting trees upside down on the ground. I'm joking. That is what I've heard, and I do believe in Bigfoot, but that's not from Bigfoot. <laughs> that's tiny. <laughs> Metal detecting my way out of King Phillip's cave back to the truck. And uh, 
I'm taking a path that I don't normally take. I've, I've only been this way once, and I didn't have my detective. I thought this was an amazing find. It's some kind of aluminum token. But it's kind of neat. It'll go in the collection. And, uh, old Boy Scouts thing. So, you know, they, they were up here, like I said, from probably the 50s to the 70s, 40s to the 70s, I don't know, maybe even early 80s. But, um, yeah, this, this trail is neat. Deep in the forest. I did just find a, a modern penny and a 22 bullet and a fork with wood on it. Um, that could be very old. Very old. <clears throat> I tend to find a lot of pieces that seem like they came off of old carts in the early 1800s, 1700s. That's my best guess anyway, judging by the corrosion and roughness of them. Uh, I took a little bit of a wrong turn on the trail. A um, little bit lost. But I know where I'm going to come out roughly, I think, so whatever. In the process, I found this, I think it's a foundation or a holding pen. If it's a foundation, this is about as primitive as it gets. <laughs> so this has got to be 1700s, has to be. But maybe it's a holding pen because I found a couple mule shoes. Um, I've never seen this before. This is neat. Off this small foundation, maybe, well, I, I'm guessing it's, what, 12, 15 feet by 15 feet? Uh, the back side of it has a stone wall going down off of it. And a stone wall going off. The other side of it as well very cool um, great place to metal detect actually I did find an extremely old nail right near here which would help me date this place there's the nail that suck is old <laughs> so that's my deal I'm gonna try to get the hell out of here and find my truck I suppose there's a chance I'm wrong, but right off the trail, one of the Native American burial sites I found is right here. How can that not be a grave? And it's roughly eight, ten feet long, mound of dirt sunk in the middle and uh, there's even rocks placed on one end almost like a headstone or something that's that's pretty cool stuff <laughs>